So Tom, suppose for a minute I'm an end user. Why would I want to buy a modular actuator? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but I think it's, it's ease of fuel repair and, and interchangeability. You'll be able to convert, for example, a, a fair close or fair open should you choose to do so, or add something like a hydraulic override or even delete it later on. Okay. So let's take your G-Series as, as an example. What kind of modules are available? Well, there's three primary modules. That's the power module, the drive module, and the spring module. But there's a lot of other modules which are considered optional modules. For example, overrides and extended travel stops. When we say modular, all of those components can be easily added or deleted from an actuator at any time whenever you decide. So, so run through again, what are the real advantages for me then in buying this, this product? Well, there's a lot of direct and indirect advantages, but I think from your perspective, first is versatility and availability. Our sales channels stock millions of dollars worth of this product and they stock it using modules. So what, what they're able to do when you, when you ask for a specific model, the odds are much greater that they can supply you what you want when you need it because they can put it together in a modular form rather than all actuators. Okay. Now, I understand you, you can repair these modules in the field, but how easy is that in actual practice? I mean, would I need a special crew or special tools? No. Actually, when we designed the G-Series, we had you in mind, the end users okay. in mind. Yeah. We made it where there are no special tools required. Uh, the ordinary toolbox will take apart a G-Series actuator. Okay. So let's run through an actual example. Suppose I've got a fail-close actuator, and I want to convert that to a fail-open mm -hmm. and add a manual override. What are the steps I need to take? Well, in short, what you're going to do is, you're, assuming you have a fail close actuator or fail clockwise, as we call it, you would have to remove both the power modules and spring modules and switch positions. By removing a module pretty much as either a pipe plug or a little cover plate, there's one bolt to five bolts, and you're going to reach in with a standard socket extension, your standard tools right out of your box, and you're going to unscrew the piston rod or the tension rod if it's a spring module. Then there's just going to be a series of bolts, four to eight bolts typically, that you're going to move. And what's going to happen now is a whole module will come out as a sub-assembly, and you just switch them from one into the other. So this is a process? Procedure. So this process is going to take me an hour or a couple of hours? No, in the past it would have taken you probably several hours. It would have been quite detailed. I call that stick building. But in, in our world, it probably, if you have the equipment to lift the, lift the modules up, it probably take you 15 to 30 minutes, whereas it used to take you three or four hours. Okay, so you've convinced me about the, the versatility of the product, mm -hmm. but if I go out there and buy one, how many models are available, and what kind of guarantee are you going to give me? Well, that's a broad question in some ways. I'll, I'll pick a number and say there's around 1,200 different modules, so what this, the modules do is allows us to increase the breadth of our, of our product considerably, and you talked about the guarantees. Uh, we're the only ones I'm aware of currently that offer a five-year warranty on all of our products, and of course, the torques are also guaranteed too, because that's what you're paying for. So you're saying it's a very reliable product? Extremely reliable. We wouldn't be able to guarantee the torque outputs to give you that five-year warranty.